Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Taurus. Taurus, this is your weekly general reading from the 11th through the 17th of March, 2019. I hope everyone is doing well. I will go over the cards as soon as I get all of them laid out. I'm using the Madame Andorra Tarot Deck along with the Psychic Tarot Deck, and I will be doing your tarot reading with the Druid Craft Tarot. So we had that one come out, and I'm going to go ahead and do two for you guys because I didn't get to shake. Uh, shake. I didn't get to. Um, well, I've completely lost what I was going to say right there, Taurus. I didn't get to shuffle. I wanted to. We have it right here. Harmony. All right. Let's. Okay. So you have two of those. And I will also be pulling an affirmator at the end of your reading as well, Taurus. And as always, uh, Taurus, I do daily and monthly videos. If you'd like to go and check those out, that would be awesome. Alright, let's see what Spirit has for Taurus. Sun, Moon, and Rising. And I've already saged my area, and I pre-shuffle and meditate before I start the camera. I just like for you guys to see the shuffling. I feel like it's important. So we're starting out the present situation for this week, you guys, is the Lord coming out here. Crossing you is the Three of Pentacles. Your foundation is the Princess of Swords. Your recent past is the Tower. This is the best place to see this card. <laughs> and crowning you is the Nine of Wands. And the new circumstance is the King of Wands. All right. Just take a look here. I do want to go ahead and clarify the uh, Princess of Swords for you, Taurus. What is this Princess Spirit of Swords in the foundation for Taurus? All right. Ace of Pentacles. All right, nice. All right, from the bottom of the deck, we have the overall energy as the ferulet. A lot of fire coming through here, you guys. You may have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius possibly around you, or this could be in your chart as well. Now, we do start off with Medusa. This is jealousy leads to downfall. Um, I feel like with this coming out here, this is a past energy. I feel like this comes along with this tower that's in your recent past. Uh, I feel like there could have been a hiccup uh, involving a relationship, a partnership, um, possibly someone being jealous over you, Taurus, or you being jealous over someone else. And I feel like it did, like, rock your foundation. Um, but you are getting over it. You're moving forward. Um, I feel like with this... That whoever this uh, is about, uh, I feel like that you do get over it. I don't feel like it's a loss of a relationship or a friendship. I feel like this is just something that um, possibly happened and you guys are uh, working with it and getting over it. Um, maybe uh, commitments coming through here very strong too as well. Uh, Taurus, I feel like maybe it was there wasn't a committed relationship or partnership, and whatever this was, this tower moment with this jealousy, I feel like led to a commitment. Okay, all right. So we have harmony coming out here. Um, this is you know about you know your to me soulmate, twin flame, or partnership. People coming together in harmony. All right, I feel like this could be yourself as well. Connecting with your higher self could very well possibly be taking place right now. Um, there's a major transformation as well taking place. Um, 
There, this could lead uh, to a new beginning in a situation or a partnership. Um, I feel like these two are hand in hand. This, if you'll remember right, this one flew out right when I started shuffling. Uh, I feel like this relationship, partnership, however this resonates with you, there is like a major uh, cleanup, transformation, people coming together to uh, help each other. Um, and transition into a new beginning uh, whether this is partnerships like I said I just feel like people are getting along maybe where they hadn't in the past now like I said the ferulets coming through here this could represent Sagittarius um, this is all about balance you guys this is the alchem spiritual alchemical process right here making sure that you ha are able to obtain this balance be able to come together be especially with this uh, harmony coming through here all right making sure that everything is balanced your relationships are balanced your partnerships are balanced um, so I you know even though this can look like a negative card right here I feel like this has, you know, this has challenged you to become a better person or better in your relationships. All right. So let's go ahead and let's look at your, your reading. We have the situation of the week coming out here, the Lord. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, the Lord is all about power and control. This is somebody that could own their own business, uh, authority figure as well. Um, this could be literally you just taking control of your life and getting stability and that, that control back where you may have felt like it was missing, Taurus. Now, we do have what's crossing you, the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is all about skill and teamwork, okay? Planning for the future. Um, you know, cooperating amongst uh, several individuals, possibly in a project or work or even at home. And this is you being admired for your work as well. Now, this comes up in the challenging position. Now, with this coming up as a possible obstacle, I feel like that maybe you have felt that you are not getting enough recognition that maybe you're the only one doing the work maybe maybe there's you know other people that are supposed to be working with you and they're not they could be receiving the same type of recognition that you are and they're not doing anything I, that's coming out really really strong you guys uh i feel like though with that crossing the Lord that you guys are going to put your foot down. And you're going to be like, hey, you know, um, I'm I'm a player here, too. This is uh, this is what I've been doing. You know, this definitely could be a work situation that is not uh, equal. OK, um, this is not the same situation that I'm getting from this. I feel like this is a relationship right here. You guys that's been in the recent past that's. Trans transformation and harmony has come about due to this tower moment this is something i feel like in your work area where you that where people are supposed to be team players they're not playing on your team is what i feel like now we have the princess of swords coming through here taurus this is gemini libra aquarius energy this is very uh this is somebody that's very knowledgeable they're all about the truth this is uh, logic and uh, a reason as well you guys she's ready for action she's ready to speak her truth I feel like this is you and it feeling like you're gonna you're gonna speak your truth in this situation and what's gonna happen is it's gonna cause this this uh, ace of Pentacles to be able to open up for you this reward for your effort this is a beautiful card of prosperity um, good health as well this is a new beginning in something that is gonna be uh, I, I feel like provide for you a lot of financial stability but I feel like you're required to speak up for yourself right now okay uh, because I feel like whoever these people are that you're working with they don't care about what's going on with Taurus or letting Taurus do all the work and 
they're taking the same recognition and they're not doing anything. And I feel like once you stand up for yourself and speak your mind, it's going to allow for a new beginning of something to be able to stir up and uh, open up some abundance in your life. Now, we have the tower, like I said, uh, this is... You know, the foundation being shaken, things being shook up. This is in your recent past. I feel like it has to do with this jealousy. Uh, maybe of a partner or a partner being jealous over you. Maybe you guys hadn't made a legit commitment. Maybe, uh, maybe one thought they had and the other hadn't. And was maybe still playing the ball field a little bit. But now I feel like you both are on the same page and you're working through this. Okay? So, in your crowning position, we have the Nine of Wands coming through here. Uh, this is kind of like the Wounded Warrior card. Um, but he has achieved, accomplished all these wands. He's been wounded. But he can still persevere and move forward and go after uh, his desires. Okay? I love this card. This is about strength right here. Having a lot of strength. And being having a lot of awareness as well, you guys, uh, and being prepared for what's to come. Now, I feel like you guys have been through a lot here recently and are going through a lot, possibly, like I said, through a power struggle at work uh, with dealing with others that aren't on your team. But I do feel like once you handle this, you be assertive, speak your mind. Here comes this uh, new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles here. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I'm dealing with the uh, allergies. Please bear with me. We do have the King of Wands coming in as the new circumstance, which is a very bold energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a very powerful individual, how they hold themselves. They're a role model. They're inspiring. They're somebody that... that uh, can take care of their crap, you know, and I don't mean it like in a bad way, I just mean like, I feel like this is the energy you're going to be embodying, Taurus, because you are a very strong earth sign, <clears throat> please excuse me, I feel like this is you, okay, you're going to stand up for yourself, you're going to speak your truth, it's going to open up this opportunity for you, people are going to see who's in charge here, with uh, with this situation of the week. They're going to see who's in control, Taurus, and it's you. Alright? So, I feel like this aggravation, uh, you know, of these people that aren't playing on your team here are going to get a big shock, you know, I, once you speak your truth. Because you're going to own it. Okay? You're not going to put up with the crap. You're not going to, you know, you're going to be able to handle yours. And your own, and you're going to be like, get on board or, you know, get back. I, I, I feel that for you guys very strongly. Uh, you're stepping into your power very strongly this week, Taurus. And, it, and it's needed. And you're going to do it. I'm also going to pull an Affirmators for you. I love this deck. You guys, please comment. You know, I read all of them. Please let me know how this... Uh, resonates with you wow okay we have everyone's a teacher all right so everyone i cross paths with is a teacher in the, that moment the ones who give me the fun lessons are the ones i call friends the ones who give me the hard lessons i sometimes call a-holes <laughs> They've chosen a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So today, I'm thanking all the a-holes. Thank you, a-holes, for playing your part in making me a better person. Awesome. All right, you guys. Taurus, I want to thank y'all so much. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.